All right, I'm gonna talk about anabolism um, and mTOR a little bit and a little bit of AMPK. So I think I talked about it before, but um, mTOR is primarily found whenever we're doing resistance training or we're in our anabolic days. And mTOR signals muscle development or muscle growth. And AMPK signals more mitochondria to be um, within our muscles. And we'll see AMPK inhibit mTOR and that occurs whenever we're doing like resist, not resistance, endurance training. So this can kind of make sense. We'll see mTOR um, activated a lot in people who do bodybuilding and we'll see a lot more, um, you know, just looking at the difference between a bodybuilder and a runner. Runners are obviously not going to be as bulky or big or have as much muscle mass as somebody who does bodybuilding. Um, and that's because they are primarily using AMPK to help with uh, more mitochondria within the muscles, which that makes sense because runners or people who do a lot of endurance training, um, they are going to be burning a lot more fats, which means they're in Krebs and ETC cycle for the bioenergetic system. Um, and AMPK is going to inhibit mTOR, which allows for more mitochondria. If we have more mitochondria, more oxygen is able to get into the muscle and we're able to properly go through those bioenergetic systems. Um, but as for mTOR, we're going to be in our anabolic phase. Um, and so it's important for if you're wanting to build muscle and create more force to try your best to stay in the anabolic phase as much as possible. Um, so when you wake up in the morning, it's, from what I learned from nutrition class, it's important to eat 20 grams of protein as soon as you wake up. So that way you have a spike of anabolic mess within your day. And then you continue to have food with protein throughout the day to keep you in that area of anabolic rather than catabolic, which is not building muscle. So I try my best to stay in the anabolic phase and I try my best to do resistance training because I have certain goals within my fitness. Whereas I don't necessarily do anything endurance wise. So I'm not going to be as, um, let's say, what's the word? fit in an endurance setting as compared to like somebody who does endurance all the time because they're gonna have more mi mitochondria within their muscles and I am really not going to.